We are trying to achieve singularity, the ability of a machine to surpass humans, the emergence of super smart artificial intelligence, and the understanding of quantum computers will lead us to derive a new definition of consciousness. Well, consciousness isn't something that can be captured at all by humans, but for sure, quantum computers will completely change the way we define consciousness. The most powerful supercomputer of the world, the human brain, consists of 100 billion neurons with the weight of 1.2 to 1.4 kilogram with each neuron has 1000 synapses. Synapses are the junction between two nerve cells consisting of a minute gap across which impulses pass by diffusion of a neurotransmitter. Now let's compare the human brain with the fastest consumer available processor. An AMD Threadripper 3970X is the fastest computer processor available with a processing power of 1.3 trillion teraflops. Yeah, this is 1.3 trillion computations every second. But what about supercomputer. Summit Oak Ridge National Laboratory USA has a computational power of 148 petaflops which is 148 quadrillion computations every second. That is 148 followed by 15 zeros. But what is more fascinating about that that an AMD Threadripper works on the TDP of 280 watt with comparison to a human brain which only operates at 20 watt. Now this is called efficiency. But when it compared to a supercomputer, a supercomputer contains hundreds or even thousands of Threadrippers. The example we are taking with the fastest supercomputer consumes 13 megawatt. This efficiency is achieved by the way neuron interact. A computer works in binary, zeros and ones. A quantum supercomputer works between the probabilities of zeros and ones, providing both the possible outcomes. But a human brain is even more complex, encoding several possibilities in response to a stimulus. For example, a neuron can fire, fire inhibit, fire in synchrony, fire in dynamic pattern providing a wide range of permutations. But how much memory does it give us? Researchers at Salk Institute estimated that each synapses hold 1.4 bit of memory, giving us an estimation of one petabyte, which is 1000 terabyte. To power a similar kind of supercomputer with the similar power, you need a 20 megawatt of electricity, which is gigantic. Thanks to the human brain which only operates at 20 watt due to its advanced cellular network ATP. The human brain works similarly like a search engine works. Like thinking about subscribing ABS scientific world, a group or clusters of neurons, every time you see this red button will let. The same things goes for your crush, your best friend or other memories like remembering a football. On that note, we still don't know how a human brain write and remove the information. It is useful to compare human brain to systems that we already understand. For example, in the night when we sleep, our brain behaves like YouTube, replaying the information. This allows our brain to take out certain information and remove certain one. The temporary memory will be shifted from hippocampus to neocortex. For the time being, humans and computers have complementary skill sets. Computers are good at certain kind of ta tasks that we humans simply cannot perform. And humans are good at many things like taking the smell and converting that to an electrical signal. Computers simply fall apart, taking taste from the mouth and then memorizing it as an electrical signal. No computer can ever do that. A human brain also acts as a GPS. A Nobel Prize was awarded to a group of researchers for finding different sets of neurons activates when rats were in a different places, serving a map within the brain. They called it play cells that exist in the hippocampus. Computers are good at calculation and storing long digits, but still not even close. Super smart artificial intelligence maybe will help us to understand the working of a human brain one day. 
The journey is the destination. Yeah, when it's done, it's over. And as always, thanks for watching.